Good morning. Today, September 3rd, we'll talk about the book of Lamentations. We all know the meaning of Lamentation. Crying out. Crying out to God. In Lamentations 3.23, the prophet says, Great is your faithfulness. We all should realize this truth. His faithfulness is great. And so our faithfulness also should be great. We should have real faith in God and show our faithfulness to others in this world. Lamentations describe the funeral of a city. It is a tear-stained portrait of the once proud Jerusalem, now reduced to rubble and ashes by the invading of Babylonian hordes. Lamentations, perhaps the saddest book of the Old Testament, is penned by the mourning Jeremiah after the fall of Jerusalem. In five dirges of death, dirges means poems, Je Jeremiah expresses the horror and the helplessness of seeing the Jewish proudest city reduced to rubble. Defeat, slaughter and ruination, the horror so long promised and so frequently ignored, now fall from the hands of the brutal Babylonians. And yet, even as the prophet's heart breaks, he pauses to proclaim the ringing testimony of deep faith in the goodness and mercy of God. Though the situation, the time was bleak with judgment, the future sparkles with the promise of renewal and restoration, a promise as certain as the dawn. That's the reason that he said, Great is your faithfulness. We all need to say this with confidence. Yes, we all should understand it. Lamentations feature six major three themes, all linked with the concept of suffering of the people. We'll see them one after the other. One is, first one, the Israelites' suffering was a result of their sin and even the Babylonians acknowledged this fact. Jeremiah 40, third verse. Second is, the Israelites realized that their suffering was coming from God rather than men. This we see in Lamentations 1, 13, 15, second chapter 1 and 4. So many other places it is there. Third is, their sufferings were to make them go back to God. It is just disciplining them. Fourth is, sufferings, tears and prayer go together. The people were encouraged to pour out their hearts to God. Fifth is, they prayed since they had a ray of hope that God would show mercy, compassion and faithfulness. Sixth is, their responsibility was to submit to their sufferings patiently as they knew God's will would be established. Divine grief over the sins of Israel we see this in uh, Lamentations 2, 1 to 6. These verses remind us that the Holy Spirit was and still is often grieved by our behavior. As said in Isaiah 63, 10. Repentance is also work of Holy Spirit. At the present times, we need this repentance and divide, divine grief over the sins of the world. Let's pray. Lord, help us to realize that our present condition resembles that of Jerusalem and we need to pray for ourselves and also the nation and all the people around us who are going against God's will. Please, Lord, help us to have the burden that Jeremiah had. In Jesus' precious name I ask. Amen. God bless you.